Bikele's 1237 from 2004, 16 years, gone. And we talked about this yesterday on the pod about, I mean, I was at least skeptical because I was thinking, hey, man, you're, you're not even close to the 1230 range or even the 1240 range, not even low 1250 range. Why can you break a world record? And then I was like, let's compare what Bekele was like. Bekele wasn't close to the world record before he broke it. He broke the world record with a massive PB and then went on to have his notorious career. And Chepta guy, for all the talk that like, hey, you're just a 1257 guy. Who are you to say you can break the world record? I mean, he's someone who can just do it in a, a workout because it looked like that. He timed his watch at the end. He was getting his watch splits. <laughs> he wasn't relying on the automatic timing. He's like, I got to keep checking my own hand time. I mean, that, I was I was super impressed. He was just clicking off the – here are the splits. 60, 61, 60, 60, 61, 60.9. We'll round that up to 61. 60, 60, 60, 60, 59.9. And then he closed in 59.64. Looked like he had a little bit more there. You're right about our pessimism about the pre the world record pre-race. I went back yesterday. I cut the clip out. I posted it on the website. It's still on the website. It's still pretty high on the website. So I'm guessing people are going to click on that and they're going to be like, wow, you guys are idiots. And I cut it right before you in you went into that interesting analysis, which was, hey, maybe we shouldn't just be looking at the fact that his PR is in the high 1250s. Maybe we should look at what the previous guy did before that. And you actually said by the end of it, you talked yourself out of being so strong on the side of he's not going to do it because you said, hey, this guy, he's kind of like Bekele. This is a, this mirrors in many ways what Bekele did. Had some international success, obviously, checked the guy with the gold medal in, in Doha. Bekele was on the scene, but not nearly the dominant runner that we knew later on you know, in his career after that point, and then made that big jump down to the world record. We should have listened more to that because this looked this looked so smooth, Gordon. We should have probably paid more attention to a twelve fifty one on the road and said, "Hey, twelve fifty one on the road, you're going to chop off some time once you get onto the track." Yeah, I mean, Bekele's PR going into the world record was what twelve fifty two on the track, right? I believe it was 1252. Maybe he went at 1249 indoors. But okay, 1249 indoors. He was low 1250s. And it just it's so weird to like think about it. Like it makes sense after the fact. But I was surprised how like easy it was. Were you surprised with how it did not look like he was straining? It looked like it was he was in route to a 10K race. That's what the way it seemed. Yeah. 